yesterday i made us understand that for us to change the negative perspective that people have about us we should make up our mind to live a very honest and transparent life whenever we meet with people today we are going to be looking at something deeper about us nigerians that we should really work upon i wrote here let us all make up our minds to be the positive example that will make them change the negative belief they have about us do you know that every single person that transacts business with you as a nigerian will eventually go back with a mindset not just about you but about green white green now there are about five kinds of attitudes that we have as nigerians that if we don't change these attitudes it will be very difficult for us to live a very honest life let's see if i can take three in the space of time i have the first one is this operating time as if there is a different time zone for africans that is different from the one used globally now do you know that 24 hours is 24 hours all over the world all over the world one hour has 60 minutes one day has 24 hours every month is 30 except for april so it means that we all have the same time i come again we all have the same time there is nothing called an african time now every nigerian should realize that for nigeria to rise again we must place value on time it is time we stop waiting for time to change anything time does not change anything it is what you and i do with time that determine the kind of change we eventually get i always say this and everybody is saying it all over the world that number one nigerians are brilliant two nigerians are brave but if nigerians know how to manage that is invest time properly i'm telling you the fact in the shortest time nigeria will arise again now politicians have come and gone saying some will say 10 point agenda that have to, they have to carry out in four years some will say four point agenda we've heard of agendas and agenda as an agendas but eventually you see that after four years they will say oh we are sorry the time frame is short give us another four years now at the end of that four years you will see that it will say well we tried our best vote for our party let power continue with members of our party i will get our points agendas achieved yes sir for nigeria to arise again nigerians must understand that time is the seed of the mighty world number two for nigeria to arise again we must cause the attitude of counting corners let's not like it a lot of nigerians love the attitude of cutting corners now that's why you see that they would rather prefer to cut corners than to go for competence for nigeria to rise again listen we all must understand that competence should be our priority or else we'll just be beating around the bush i once had an encounter like that we were all in the bank. The queue was very long. And the man just walked in and walked straight to the manager's office and came out. He collected his own cash. Why? We have a mindset in Nigeria. And what's that mindset? We love to cut corners. If we don't kill that mindset, it should not allow Nigeria to rise again. Now, let me take one more because of the space of time I have. 
another mindset that we must kill, attitude we must kill in Nigeria is the as long as it does not affect my family in any way, it's all right. Now, in my tribe, we used to say, an elderly man that throws a stone into the market hmm, should be careful. He might eventually hit a family member with it. We have this mindset in Nigeria. Well, as long as well, my family members are not affected, as long as we all are okay. Now, this is the reason why we don't have people that come all out to sacrifice for the well-being of our nation. We've heard of great names. I don't want to mention, so that it not be as if we are praising people from other countries, of people who sacrificed their life to make their country better. Nigerians, let's stop just thinking of me, myself, and I. Now, it is time for you and I to begin to think of the well-being of our nation. Kill that mentality of as long as my family is okay, I'm good to go. Nigeria will arise again. Now, let me go back to my starting point. For Nigeria to rise again, we all must make up our minds to be honest Nigerians. We all must make up our minds that no matter what people say about us, no matter how people feel about us, we will do the right thing that will make our country to be honored again. Let's take our pledge as I summarize for today. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest. To serve Nigeria with all my strength. To defend her unity and uphold her honor and glory. So help me God. I've made up my mind to be honest. Have you? Mm-hmm.